And I mean, you know, an example in, in my past was when I was challenged to improve the performance of a chemical plant and was really flummoxed and spent 24 hours thinking, oh my goodness, I cannot do this. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I flicked back to what, what am I doing? What am I trying to do solving this myself or there's a bunch of people and I got anybody and everybody that knew anything about that plant ever from PhD chemists and engineers through to plant operators. And you know, the best idea after we'd done the brainstorming and the evaluation, the best idea came from a plant operator. Quite logically, it makes sense yeah. because they knew every valve and everything about what would cause problems. And the goal that we had was, I think it was 10% improvement in, before, uh, in product throughput yeah. and a 10% reduction in downtime. And that one idea, which cost very little, and the team really worked well in a multifunctional yeah. way to get it in place, was about £6,000. Right. And I think it led to a profit of more than £2 million a year. Wow. And it gave us a 15% improvement and in, pro in throughput and a 90% reduction in downtime. Wow. And it was one idea out of wow. about 300 ideas. But that's the whole thing about creating a, a space or an environment where people can have a voice. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If you don't ask, you'll never get those 